Hey guys, welcome back to my shop. Hey, I'm working on the Emco Turn 140 today. And um, while I'm waiting on some other things, I thought I'd get started a little bit on the turret. So the original motor on the turret, as you might recall, was belted to the turret itself. And that motor is a three-phase 380 volt motor and that's not going to work out for me. So what I'm going to try and do, probably as an experiment, is use a NEMA 34 stepper motor that I have on hand. And uh, let me show you what I've got. Okay, here's the original motor off the uh, turret. And then here's its motor plate. This, this plate, the motor came through here and it was belted over to the, to the turret. And here's a NEMA 34 stepper motor that I had. Uh, I think it's about uh, 465 ounce inch of holding torque, which I think is way more than enough you know belt reduction it's going to increase um, all we're trying to do is rotate the turn with uh, the tools loaded in it I've already taken the XL timing pulley you'll see it doesn't even fit anymore and I've bored it out to fit the uh, stepper motor there's a flat on the stepper motor here but the timing pulley itself is too small to put a set screw in um, so my plan is it's got a flat, so I'm going to make a custom key. Let's see if I can push this down here. I'm going to make a key that goes into the timing pulley and then bears up against the shaft itself. And then I'm going to lock tight uh, the, the pulley onto the motor. The other thing that I need to do is I'm going to need to bore out this uh, opening in the plate to fit the spigot of the stepper motor and it'll mount up and I'll also have to drill out the bolt pattern to fit this stepper motor onto the plate and if you kind of look it looks like it's going to work out okay um, I'm probably going to cut into the existing screw holes when I bore out for the spigot but uh, the bolt holes of the, uh, the mounting bolt holes should work out alright on the plate so I'm going to get set up on my milling machine to uh, to uh, machine that spigot opening out and then to re-drill for the uh, mounting flange of the stepper motor. Okay, really quickly, I'm at the mill and I programmed the bolt hole circle for the NEMA 34 uh, flange in Intercon. Uh, it's way simpler and faster to use the conversational programming to do something like this, it's a one-off type deal. Nice thing is I do enough work that I've saved it, so if I ever have to do another NEMA 34 bolt hole circle pattern, I'll have it in the control. So uh, basically I'm using, I used a blake coaxial indicator to find the center of the existing uh, hole, and then um, so that became my zero, zero. Let me take you up to the screen here so you can see a little bit. So my starting point is zero, zero, and my clearance height above the part, well, my surface height is zero. My clearance height above the part is 100 thou. I don't have any toe clamps or anything. And then a rapid to depth, 100 thou. Um, I'm gonna go through the part, 300 thousandths of an inch, plunge rate of 10 inches a minute, doing four bolt hole circles, the radius, which is from the zero, 00 out is uh, 1.9375 which is half of the diameter of the bolt hole circle for a NEMA 34 motor and my start angle is 45 degrees so it's going to start out here then go over over and over and do the four holes of course I've got four holes so uh, let's go back and I will let you also let me go back to the uh, cam to intercon so I gave it a new new program that's a new name NEMA 34 flange bolt pattern I created tool number 10 which is a quarter inch drill bit I'll show that to you really quick tool number 10 is a quarter inch drill uh, start position 00, zero offset and so forth the diameter is quarter inch I just threw a spindle speed of 1250 RPM spindle direction clockwise which is an M3 uh, I'm manually turning coolant on. I've got a mistype or MQL system and actual change yes means I have to physically 
means I have to physically change the bit or the tool. So we'll go back and then our bolt hole circle, as you saw. And it has a help function here, so it help walks you through it. So it's drilling. If we scroll down, position X, position Y, the surface height, it tells you what's the surface height Y. Well, my part is, is uh, zero. Z0 is the top of my surface. My clearance height is how far above the part. So if you have toe clamps or whatever, you just raise it up. Wrap it to depth is going to come down to 100 thousandths. I'm going to go through it 300 thousandths. See the total depth, it shows right here total depth. And then the plunge rate is how fast is it going to go in. Dwell time, I'm not going to do a dwell. Number of holes, I'm doing four. The radius, which is half of the diameter of the bolt circle. And the start angle is 45 degrees. So yeah. And uh, we can graph this. Given where the, the tool is now, it's going to go to zero and then it's going to go out and drill the four holes. All right. And uh, I did post it, so it creates the G code. Here you can see the job means NEMA 34 flange bolt pattern, so it's in there if I want to graph it again. So the tool is sitting out. It's sitting out here right now. Let me show you. Here's the tool. So it's sitting out to the right. Okay, so we should be uh, ready to uh, drill the bolt hole circle. Okay, we're all set. Let's go ahead and run the part. Okay, let's go over the intercon program for the circular uh, opening in the plate to open it up to the NEMA 34 motor. Okay, we're starting at X0, Y0, which is right in the middle. The diameter is 2 inches and 92, 925 thou. We're going to clean out the opening. In other words, it's going to start in the middle and work its way out, even though we have some dead space there. The depth, I've got it set to 140 thousandths per pass. It's 50 thousandths per pass, so it'll do it in about three passes. Plunge rate, 10 inches a minute. I could have stepped that up a little bit. I'm running them conservative. Um, it's going to go in ramped. You'll see here it kind of zigs and zags in. It's not an issue because there's no material in the middle. The plunge angle is 45. Step over is uh, we need to change that 200 thousandths. Uh, let's change that to 100 thousandths. Feed rate of 10 inches a minute. Getting a finished pass at 10 thousandths and the feed rate of 10 inches a minute. So we'll accept that and we'll post the code. We'll graph it. pretty good. So let's run it.
You can see it's cutting air right now until it gets out to the outside of that existing hole. You can toggle between the G-code and the graphics by hitting F8. We're getting ready to cut some metal.
running its cleanup pass now. Got a little bird back left in the back, I can file that. And I'll shoot for 295. I probably, like I said, I'm probably against the burr, so let me uh, move the machine out of the way here. And we'll just kind of lay the uh, motor in it. Okay, it looks good. Dropped right in. Holes appear to line up. It's hanging a little bit on the vise, the edge of the motor, but it'll be alright. Alright, so we've got the motor mount plate machined out to accept the NEMA 34 motor. Now I just need to get some Loctite and Loctite on that uh, pulley and then put it on the machine and do some testing with it. Alright, talk to you guys soon.